This tutorial is about using logical expressions in MATLAB. Logical expressions are used to test the relationship between scalars, vectors, matrices, and strings. These expressions have numerous uses in programming, which we will see in later videos. The focus of this tutorial will be to establish the syntax necessary to use these tools. The first subset of logical expressions is the relational operators. These compare two variables and return a Boolean value, which is either a 1 if the statement is true, or a 0 if the statement is false. These operators can test equality and inequality. Let's take a look at some examples. The first operator tests equality. This is denoted by two equal signs, like this. 5 equal equal 6. This operation returns a 0 or false because 5 does not equal 6. This will only return a 1 if the two values are equal. The next operator tests inequality. This is denoted by a tilde followed by an equal sign like this. 5 tilde equal 6. This now returns a 1 since it is true that 5 does not equal 6. Another operator is to check if something is less than another value denoted by the usual less than sign, like this, 4 less than 7. This returns a 1, since 4 is less than 7. There is also a less than or equal to operator, denoted by the less than sign, followed by an equal sign, like this, 2 less than equal 1. This returns a 0, since the statement is not true. There are likewise operators for greater than, again using the usual greater than symbol, and also greater than or equal to, again using the greater than symbol followed by the equal sign. The relational operators can also work on vectors and matrices on an element-by-element -element basis. For example, we have the vector 4, 5, and we try to compare it to 7, 1. This will return a vector of the same number of elements that were being compared each spot taken by the result of comparing the same location in the two vectors. In this case, the comparisons are between 4 and 7 and between 5 and 1. The first comparison returns a 1, while the second returns a 0. The same thing can be done with matrices, as long as the two things being compared are the same size. An exception to this rule is if there is a scalar on one side of the operator. In this case, MATLAB compares each element of the vector or matrix to the one scalar. For example, let's take the matrix 5, negative 1, 2, 9, and compare it to the value 5. This returns a 2 by 2 matrix, the same size as the matrix on the left, and compares each element of the original matrix to the scalar on the right. It is very important to distinguish between the relational operator for equality and the assignment operator. The relational operator is composed of two equal signs, while the assignment operator has one. An expression such as a equals 5 equal equal 6 makes sense because MATLAB evaluates the expression on the right of the equal sign, which is 0, and assigns it to the variable on the left. So now a equals 0. Another useful relational operator, which is used to compare strings, is the string compare function. It is not used like the other operators in between values, but rather as a usual function which takes two string arguments. Here is an example. strcmp of the two strings hello and hello, which are the same. So this function returns a 1 because both are true. In general, the function returns a 1 or true if the strings are the same, or a 0 or false if they are not. A sample usage would be if you are waiting for the user to enter a specific string, maybe a name, like this. x equals input, enter your name, and the user will enter, for example, Ilya. And now we'll compare, we'll say d equals strcmp of whatever was entered, x, and the string Ilya. 
which in this case will return a 1 and a 0 if it was any other name. A useful variant of this function is the case insensitive string compare. The problem with strcmp is that if I had entered Ilya with a lowercase i, then the output would have been false. strcmp Ilya with an uppercase and Ilya with a lowercase returns a 0. However, if I use this, the case insensitive version, which is strcmpi, where the i stands for insensitive, then the two strings, one with an uppercase, one with a lowercase, would still be true. This is useful when, for example, you want the user to enter the word yes to answer a question, but you're not sure if he'll type it with a lowercase y or an uppercase y. Then you would use this, x equals input continue the user may type something like yes and you want to compare strcmpi his answer to the word yes and in this case it'll be true even though he typed it with an, an uppercase in his answer the next subset of logical expressions I will talk about is that of the logical operators. Logical operators do not operate on numbers, but rather on logical values, which could be the result of using relational operators. Their return value is also a logical value. The three main logical operators are AND, OR, and NOT. AND is denoted by an ampersand and returns a 1 only if both of its inputs are true. Otherwise, it returns a zero. For example, four less than five and six greater than four returns a one because both of the inputs individually evaluate to true. However, four less than five and six less than four returns a zero because one of the inputs is true and the other is false. For the AND operator to return a 1, both inputs must be true. The OR operator is denoted by a vertical line, which is a capital backslash on the keyboard. The OR operator returns a 0 only if both of its inputs are false. Otherwise, it returns a 1. For example, 4 not equal to 5, or 3 equal 7 returns a 1 because the first statement is true. However, 0 greater than 1 or 3 equal 7 returns a 0 because both statements are false. The last operator is the NOT operator and is denoted by a tilde. Unlike AND and OR, the NOT operator takes only one input and negates it. In other words, if the input evaluates to a 1, the NOT operator makes it a 0 and vice versa. For example, NOT 0 greater than 1 returns a 1. Since the expression 0 greater than 1 is false, and the NOT makes it the opposite. All of these operators can also work on vectors and matrices in the same way as the relational operators, on an element-by-element -element basis. For example, let's take a vector 1 less than 2, 3 equal 4, and 4 not equal to 5, 6 less than 8 and perform the AND operation on these two. This will return the vector 1, 0 because 1 less than 2 and 4 not equal to 5 evaluates to a 1 since both are true, while 3 equal 4 and 6 less than 8 evaluates to a 0 since the first expression is false. Once again, as with the relational operators, a vector or a matrix of logical values can be compared to a single logical value. For example, 
1 less than 2, 3 equal 4, is a vector, and we will OR this with 1 not equal to 1. Returns the vector 1, 0. Since 1 less than 2 or 1 not equal to 1, evaluates to a 1, since the first expression is true, while 3 equal 4 or 1 not equal to 1, evaluates to a 0, since both are false. Overall, logical expressions are used to compare values. We have not really seen how to use logical expressions, but we have gone into detail on how to evaluate them. This will be really important when we see the numerous applications of logical expressions later on, from making decisions in programs to indexing arrays.